Soil exploration is a crucial step in understanding the characteristics and properties of soil at a particular site. There are various steps involved in soil exploration program, starting from site reconnaissance to the final report making. We have already discussed the steps involved in a soil exploration program in our before videos. You can find the link to the video either on the description below or on the card above. In this video, we will be discussing the major soil exploration methods. These are various steps and methods used for the analysis of soil at the construction site. The three major steps involved in testing a soil sample are soil drilling, soil sampling and soil testing. Based on how these stages are done, performed together or performed separately, we have different methods of soil exploration. Soil drilling involves the use of drilling equipment to create boreholes or holes in the ground, allowing engineers and scientists to examine the soil profile, collecting soil samples and conduct various tests. Soil sampling in construction involves extracting representative soil specimens from specific depth to assess the physical and chemical properties, giving an information regarding the foundation design and the construction methodologies. Soil testing in construction involves analyzing collected soil samples for properties such as density, moisture content, shear strength, permeability to assess the soil's suitability for construction purpose and inform engineering decisions. So these methods, as I told you, can be either performed together or differently or simultaneously and based on which we have different methods of soil exploration. Soil exploration methods can be classified into direct methods, semi-direct methods and indirect methods. Direct methods of soil exploration. These are direct methods because it involve physically accessing the soil to directly observe, sample and test it. These include trial test pit or trenches, corn penetration test, CPT. Here, as I mentioned, the drilling, sampling and the testing procedure is conducted simultaneously and the results are obtained directly. Number two is semi-direct method of soil exploration. Semi-direct methods are also called as boring methods in soil exploration where boring, sampling and testing of the sample takes place step by step. When soil has to be explored at a larger depth, we go for boring methods where we use special equipments to bore a hole at a higher depth to collect the samples. Boring is performed in various methods like auger boring, rotatory drilling, wash boring, percussion drilling, while sampling is performed by different methods and different samplers like thin wall tube sampler or thick wall sampler. But you have to keep in mind that boring and sampling go hand in hand during the process. What we choose here is the type of sampler that we use with the type of boring machine to collect a sample. After boring and the sampling process, we conduct soil testing. As explained before, boring and the sampling methods go hand in hand. It can be explained using this figure. This figure arrangement is of auger boring, where the first arrangement shows how the auger boring equipment is drilling a well inside the strata. After that, we remove the sensors and all other arrangement. And the third step is inserting the thin wall sampler, that is the sampling equipment, that is number five, into the strata where the sample has to be collected. So once the sampler is being inserted down to the strata, the sample that is number six is collected into the sampler and we pull back upwards so that we collect the sample. The samples collected can be disturbed samples or undisturbed samples. Now this differs based on the boring method that is selected for procedure. Some boring methods give disturbed samples while some give undisturbed samples. Some boring methods collect sample by completely disturbing the soil underneath. But some drilling machines, they collect sample without disturbing the soil straighter, undisturbed. The type of boring method, sampling method, sample type and the test conducted are also dependent on the type of the soil strata. As we are talking about semi-direct method, once we have collected the samples, we undergo that sample for soil testing. There are numerous tests that can be conducted on the soil once the soil sample is collected. Some of them has been categorized on the table as shown. Starting from visual inspection, that is the one test, direct test that I've explained before. We have sieve analysis, Atterberg test, moisture content test, proctor compaction test, 
and we have standard penetration test, dynamic corn penetration test and vein shear test. These are the list of tests that can be conducted on the soil during soil exploration. Third one are the indirect methods of soil exploration. Indirect method in soil exploration involves assessing soil conditions without physically accessing the soil. These methods rely on measurements, observations or data collected from the surface or the surroundings to infer information about the subsurface. Some common methods include geophysical methods, remote sensing, inclinometers, piezometers and geological engineering mapping. We believe you have gained a comprehensive understanding of the diverse category of soil exploration methods. Stay tuned for the detailed videos on each of these methods. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative civil engineering and construction videos.